Hey everybody, Stephanie here and welcome to my video. Today I am doing a review on a brand that I have not done a video on before, but I've been a fan of their stuff for a while and that brand is Navigation. I found Navigation on Instagram because I started following one of the founders. Her name is Ashley and she posts like workout videos and stuff like that. And I noticed that she always had like the cutest dang leggings. And then I realized that they were actually from her own company. <laughs> Navigation is one of those companies that does their online launches every few months or so and I've noticed that their stuff sells out within like hours if not minutes. So if you decide that you want anything from this company, you have to make sure you are online right at the time of launch and get everything in your cart and then get the heck out of there. But without further ado, let's get into it. So my very, very first time ordering from Navigation, I was too slow and went on the website a few hours later and the stuff that I wanted was already sold out. So I was very lucky at that time, they had a pre-order option. Now that is not something that they do all the time. So I would not recommend relying on the pre-order option if you wanna get their stuff. I would totally just be there at the time of launch and be ready to go. But I was lucky enough to pre-order my first two items from Navigation and they made them and shipped them out within quite a few weeks, maybe like a couple months or so. Once again, that is a downside of pre-ordering, but whatever, I got my stuff. So for my very first order, I got the khaki green leggings and the crossbody long sleeve in the color black. Ordering from a new brand online is always such a struggle for me because I struggle with sizing, but according to the sizing charts, I went with a medium in the top and I went with a small in the bottoms. My first impression of the leggings when I first took them out of the package, just wow. I was so impressed with these. The waistband is a nice thick waistband. It's ribbed, it's seamless, it's high-waisted, very good quality, and the tummy control is fantastic. And then the contouring on the legs is just stunning. You can see the contouring down the thighs. It's pretty subtle. It's not like really out there and it really contours the quads really, really nicely. And then of course it has the booty contour, which is what navigation is pretty famous for actually, is this nice little booty contour on the back and it's so, so flattering. Now I am a little bit short, so I do have to pull the leggings up a little bit just so that the contour sits in the right spot or else it kind of just sits in the middle of my thigh and looks really weird <laughs> so you got to make sure that it's sitting in the right spot when you put these on and as for the top it is super cute it's really soft and sleek it kind of reminds me of like those body suits that you would wear if you're like a little girl in ballet <laughs> hopefully you know what i'm talking about but that's the material that it reminds me of it's really stretchy and really soft and sleek I kind of felt that it was a little bit too big for me, like a little bit in the armpits, a little bit in the waist, and that I might have actually preferred a small, but the medium is okay too. It's not too constrictive, but maybe next time I will try a small just to compare them. So then when I made my next order with Navigation, I made sure that I was there right on time. But even though I was there online and ready to go, some of their stuff sold out like so fast, you guys especially the larger sizes I find sell out really, really quickly. I tried to pick up an XL for a friend of mine at the same time that I got my stuff. And within four to five minutes, I wasn't able to get her leggings because they sold out while I was trying to add everything else to my cart. So keep that in mind. You gotta be really quick. You gotta know what you want going into it so that when you get onto the website, you can just add everything to your cart and then you're good to go. So for this next order, I picked up three more leggings and a sports bra. I'm gonna talk about this first because it's probably my least favorite item <laughs> that I've purchased from these guys. This is called the Lush Mesh Sports Bra and I got mine in the color Lilac. Beautiful color, honestly, super, super pretty in the back. Like that's one of the main reasons I got it is because it is so pretty in the detailing on the back. However, I wasn't too thrilled with this because this band on the bottom is like super, super annoying. So because I got this one in a medium, I thought that I might need a small in the sports bras, but I decided to go with the medium just to be safe. And thank goodness I did. This band at the bottom just like squishes my rib cage. I don't particularly love it. And 
something that's really annoying with this band. It is a big elastic band on the inside. So when you try to put it on, it moves around, it gets twisted around itself. And it's just annoying. Like I don't want to be dealing with that. And I'm kind of high maintenance like that. I just don't like that. And then you spend like a good minute trying to fix it and put it back in place. And it's so hard to do that when you're wearing it, but you have to do it or else it just bunches and then it's super uncomfortable. So that was the biggest downside for me with this sports bra. Other than that, it's fairly okay. It is a good coverage sports bra. It doesn't show a lot of skin. It has removable padding cups that are really good quality, but I probably would not buy this again if they came out in other colors. I would probably prefer different styles so hopefully they come out with some cuter ones i've seen little sneak peeks of them and i'm quite excited about them but this one i probably just wouldn't really recommend unless you have like a tiny tiny rib cage that you don't mind getting squished and you don't mind dealing with the elastic band then go for it now as for the leggings the navigation leggings are probably going to be one of my all-time favorite leggings for the rest of my life I picked mine up in three different colors. They usually also have a gray color and then almost always they have this speckled black color that they restock pretty much every launch is what I've noticed. And then they'll come out with different colors every once in a while. And you do have to be careful and make sure you add the right ones to your cart because all of the ones I got have the booty contour on them, but they also make some that are just plain because some people don't like the contouring. So make sure you add the right one to your cart so you don't end up with the wrong pair. Okay, now this is where it gets a little bit strange. I ordered all of these in a small because for some strange reason, I thought that I got these ones in a medium, but looking back in my email history, these are actually a small. However, these ones fit much looser, which is why I got these ones in a small because I thought medium was too big, but these aren't even a medium. I'll show you what I mean. So here's the khaki ones. I don't know if it's because they were like pre-ordered and maybe they were just rushing to get all of the shipments done that maybe it is just not like in perfect condition. But when you compare them with the newer ones, look at that. Like, I don't even understand how that's possible. These are both a small, but the khaki ones are almost an inch bigger than the speckled black ones. And that's the same for my other ones. I got this forest green color, and I think this one was called like violet or something like that. These ones are all really tiny as well compared to the khaki ones, but I do prefer the way that these newer ones fit on me compared to this one. This one is probably my favorite color because I love green, I love khaki green, so I'm not gonna be like getting rid of these by any means, but you can definitely tell that the waist is bigger as well as the excess fabric in the crotch. There's just excess fabric going on there, which I don't really have with these new ones, so I don't really know what happened there, but I think moving forward, I'm probably still gonna be getting the size small. The waistband fits me so much better with these ones. They cinch everything in, they have really good tummy control. The contouring down the legs is just absolutely beautiful. And that booty contour obviously makes the booty pop. Once again though, with these newer ones, I still have to pull them up a little bit because I am short and you wanna make sure that booty contour is sitting in the right spot. Something that I've noticed with these leggings that's pretty good is that there is no front seam and there is also no back seam on the back part of the legging, but I hope you can see on the camera here, there is a little bit of different fabric right underneath the waistband here. And that kind of helps provide a tiny little bit of extra contour for the glutes, which is super nice. Now adding to the fact that there is no front or back seam, I do want to point out like, some leggings that I've bought in the past, not from these guys, from other brands, if there is no front or back seam, they're just kind of like straight legged and there's no room for your butt, but the navigation ones take that into consideration. So even though there's no seam at the back, no seam at the front, they're a straight leg type of cut, there's still a little bit of extra fabric here. Because you gotta fit your butt in here, right? So I really, really appreciate that about these leggings. However, a downside of not having the seams back here is that they are more prone to runs. And how do I know that? <laughs> Let me show you. So obviously I am in between sizes. A medium would probably have too much excess fabric. However, the smalls, I sometimes feel like there's not enough fabric, especially if I'm gonna be doing squats. So once again, I recommend pulling up the leggings so that there's more fabric to work with in your butt area or else this is probably going to happen. So the other day I went to put on these black speckled leggings and I was just pulling them up and I kind of was like looking through my legs and I noticed that there was a rip in here and I was so upset because I love these leggings so much but it's so bizarre. I don't even know how this happened. I don't remember hearing anything rip. I just I don't know how this happened at all. 
hopefully you can see it here and i did try them on for the try on portion as well so you could see that they're completely ripped and see-through but there is a rip right down the middle of the back like literally right down my butt crack so i did email navigation and i was like guys what's wrong with my leggings like why did they do this i didn't snag them on anything i didn't use my nails and rip them or anything so they are sending me a replacement pair but i was just like what the heck happened here they said that it was probably just a defect for this one pair of leggings which is good and that these types of runs happen when the fabric is like stretched too much so I'm thinking that maybe I was doing squats or something and the fabric was not pulled up enough on my booty and then when I was doing the squats they must have just had this run in them but it is fairly prominent like I can't wear these anymore because they are completely see-through when you stretch them out like this. So I'm really happy that they are sending me a new pair. And something else that I noticed with these black speckled ones is that they do not have the contouring down the thigh, which is so strange because all of my other ones do. So I'm gonna see what happens when I get that replacement pair in the mail. Maybe this one was just made completely totally wrong and that's why it ripped. I don't know, but I do feel like the black ones are a staple. Everybody needs to have a pair of these. So jump online when they're gonna have their launch. Should be coming up pretty soon here actually and snag yourself a pair of these because these are just so beautiful. So obviously between the khaki pair and the other pairs, these ones are significantly bigger. And I did find there is a little bit of inconsistencies between the other three pairs as well. The green one for some reason fits like super tight and it almost seems like it's a teeny little bit shorter. Not too short for me though, cause like I am 5'4", they do still fit me fine and the inconsistencies aren't huge, but I did kind of notice that. So if that's something that bugs you, maybe keep that in mind. But overall, I completely 150,000% recommend this company. These are one of my favorite pair of leggings and I just absolutely love them. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. So hopefully that video helps you out. And as always, I'll be putting my measurements in the description box down below. So make sure to check that out. Let me know if you have any questions about these. I'll be happy to answer them. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.